Ana Claudia, hello. hello. Good evening, teacher. How are you? I'm oh, I'm great. realizing that I'm one minute before. <laughs> yeah. You're not I'm surprised. On time. <laughs> exactly. I'm surprised about me. <laughs> about myself. About myself. Okay. I'm surprised about myself. Because oh. I'm early. Oh, what's going That's on with cool. me? That's cool. <laughs> I was trying. Sometimes I said, I'm going to turn on the computer early today because sometimes makes up days and that is making me to get into the class some minutes late. And no, I said, I'm going to make sure. But today didn't make up days, this computer. Yeah, that happens sometimes. Mm -hmm. You know, actually, this year, I mean, when pandemics started, I bought a computer. Ah, okay. It's dead already. Really? Why? Because it was on use a lot. Ah. And I mean, at that time, we just had, the beginning, we just had two, two computers. Mm -hmm. And there's three of us, and the three of us working all day long on the computers. Mm -hmm. But laptops. didn't you purchase a like um, I like a fan, an external fan, because that helps a lot in order yeah, to avoid. I, I did overheat. I did, but it has become very slow. Mm -hmm. I think I'm going to to erase everything, reinstall it, and you know. Exactly. A Sometimes it's the software. Yeah. Mm. No, but actually the other one I have, mm -hmm. that one is dead. The hard drive is dead. Dead. Really? Wow. Yep. What yeah, brand is it? The, the one that is there? HP. Oh. Well, I, you know, I work for Dell and I worked for HP too. <laughs> Always I put my hands on fire for Dell. I love Dell because I know how they are built it. Mm -hmm. This one is a deal. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. And two months ago, I had, uh, it crashed down on me. Oh, really? Yeah, the, the software. Oh, okay. But that is because I, it's like, a, when you are working with computer, sometimes you have access to information and, you know that all the viruses are created by the same antivirus team for McAfee. All these people, they create, they, their self, they create the, the same viruses. So that is how they 
magical have this key to solve those problems. And the same happened with the operating system. Uh, whenever it's about to, Microsoft is about to launch a new operating system, they make the previous one to crash because they are forcing you to, for you to purchase a, 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 new hard, a new hardware, a new computer. And sometimes the hardware is fine physically, statically, it's working and also it's fine, but the operating system is not working. Yeah. And so, and this one is not all. This one's got like six months. Is this an Inspiron or Latitude? Uh, Latitude. A, oh, Latitude. But Latitude? No. Optiplex? Oh, but Optiplex is one of the best desktops you may have because they were manufactured to be connected around 12 or 18 hours a day. That's also, on you an can... average what it's being connected mm -hmm. between 12 and 18 hours a day every single day. Mm. But I mean, maybe we'll, overheat because mm -hmm. we really work on these computers. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's just that I mean uh, I was well, my wife was working online mm -hmm. the whole year. Me teaching nights, sometimes afternoon. Mm. And my son working in another computer over there in the living room. Then at night, after sometimes after I finish here, coming here to work here because oh. because of the printer. The printer mm -hmm. is near to it. And in his his workstation over there doesn't have a printer. Mm. Because I mean we had to set up a small space for him to be working. Mm -hmm. And man, it's been this year has been difficult, but last year was terrible. Terrible. <laughs> I was about to mention that. Yes, last year was terrible. We were we I guess we are still learning. Yeah, last year, you know, the first laptop, the HP that I had, it was fast. It mm -hmm. had 12 RAM. Mm -hmm. And then and I got the magical blue screen mm -hmm. in the middle of a class. Oh my God. Uh, the good thing was that I had the other one next mm -hmm. to me. So I just mm -hmm. started up and started teaching. And then finally it could load up. I got the video, but uh, it died. So I'm planning actually on, 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 on getting it back on. Yes, because yeah, sometimes it's, uh, the blue screen could be for software, but most of the time it's for hardware. But no, I, uh, I've i been working with both brands and believe it or not, I love Dell because I know the stuff, how they are built. Yeah, no, this one is okay. This one is okay, but uh, you know here, you won't believe it, the, the time of the night that Janira, your classmate here, has been helping me, guiding me how to fix some stuff Oh, okay. once we were working on this machine until midnight almost. Wow, wow. It's, That's it's a good thing fun. to have a classmate in IT. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but it's been crazy. Hey, Anna. Oh, by the way, I, I never came to ask you, how was the weekend? Oh, it was fun. Thank you for asking. I could rest and that's awesome. Mm -hmm. Resting? Just fun. resting? You oh, no, I mean... It's because it was my last week and I was attending some classes every Saturday from 2 to 5 p.m. Every Saturday afternoon. So for me, weekends were oh. shorter. But this Can was I the ask last what the one. class was about? Uh, <laughs> believe it or not, it was about, uh, it, it's an, it was an English class too, but on a different level for a uh -huh. friendly, it, it wasn't mm. for, like this one, this is specifically mm -hmm. for work. This is technical English. Mm -hmm. And the other mm -hmm. one, it was at the beginning of the years, I get into it because I was last year attending. I got those. Classes. I got. Oh, okay. I, 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 I got into them. I got into them. Classes. Okay. So I felt like compromise. Okay. I'm, because 
we, we started like 20 people eh, connecting every Saturday. Then the next Saturday, there were less, less, less. You know, we finished four, the curse. And oh. I, it, exactly. And, and I, I don't know. I, I felt that, no, I, I must be there. Uh, with with that and i learned a lot believe it or not i learned a lot it's like my, a compliment for this thing that's cool mm -hmm. yeah my boss my boss kills me if i end up a course with four students man that was yes crazy. and that is the and and i had an excellent teacher too and, and i felt like oh come on people is not taking advantage they are learning she gave us material her effort I mean, being connected every Saturday afternoon is not so easy for uh, anybody, but it's the yeah. compromise over there. And at the end, uh, I learned. At in the, the end. end, in the end. In the end. Why can I use at the end? It's because shows like a physical location. I don't know, but we say in the end. In the end, let oh, me okay. let me remember. There's a rule. Actually, there's a rule. Exactly. Just let me remember. You, oh, don't you worry. got me with the that. Class. I mean, <laughs> yeah, that question for me came out of the blue. No, no, don't worry. I know you will find it. that expression out of yes. the blue. Out of the blue. Oh, yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, okay. I mean, you cut me, you cut me late. Huh? But <laughs> I, I just know that it's in the end. Okay. <laughs> thank, you. thank you for asking. Welcome. Thank you. <laughs> nice to talk to you. Nice talking to you too. Let's see, Walter. Hello, Walter. Hello, teacher. Oops, I think you have problems with your connection, my friend. Yeah. Because Hello, teacher. You. Good evening. Oh, now I hear you. Okay, but I don't see you moving. Hello, hello, hello. Okay. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Tell me, when do you start playing soccer again? Uh, Next weekend? Ah, oh, no, no, teacher. This weekend, um, I not play soccer. No, for the moment, the start the planes and the planes talker is uh, at 11 December. December the 11th. December the 11th. Oh, well, the 11th. actually, people say December 11th. You know, okay. when I was young, December 11th, December I started the, the tournament. Oh, yes. Yes, yeah, the tournament, yes. And prepare a new tournament. That's yes. cool. That's cool. <laughs> it's always good to be like, you know, in shape and practicing and stuff. It's nice. How was the weekend for you? Oh, on the weekend and Saturday. I... Oops. I lost you, Walter. I'm sorry. I went on Sunday in the morning. Yes. Okay. Can you hear me? Now I do, but we will talk later. Perhaps the, the signal comes better. Hablamos luego, tal vez mejora la señal, okay? Okay, thank you, teacher. No, thanks to you for being here in class. Excellent, excellent. Let's see. Jose Wilfredo, hello, how are you? So far, so good, teacher. How are you too? Uh, you know, same old story, same as usual. Can't okay. complain, I can't complain. <laughs> we cannot complain anything. You know, <laughs> there's something interesting. When you say, have you realized that when you are saying can and can't, sometimes in a conversation it's kind of difficult to make the difference between the pronunciation? Mm -hmm. Do you know how to make the difference when you are the one speaking? No. Okay. The difference is like this. When you are saying the negative sentence, 
you emphasize the can't because the sound is mm -hmm. almost the same can and can't i mean the difference is minimal yeah okay so like i can play soccer i can't play soccer the second one was negative okay mm -hmm. i it's can't play the guitar i can't play the guitar affirmative i can't play the guitar that's negative oh good that's interesting, good to right? know teacher yeah. yeah just just that that little emphasis makes the difference between affirmative and negative yeah that's right and teacher i have a doubt since the last friday yeah tell me tell me because i was completed the the platform it, it wasn't me man it wasn't me whatever it is it wasn't me <laughs> And I have a problem with the exercise 2.11. Okay, just give in me the a second part. Give me a second. You're talking about 2.11. Yeah. Okay, just let me load it up. Let's see 15 to 11. The second part. Yeah. Okay, the second part. Let's see, it says instructions. Complete the sentences using the information in parentheses and enough. Mm -hmm. The place so, strategy demands enough, enough channels, yeah, channels of, of distribution. distribution. Yes. Uh, but we only have to, well, I made uh, the exercise into, into ways. I just, um, Submit the one sentence. and off channels of distribution. And also I uh, fill up the complete sentence too, but always I got the error. Okay, because according to this, I am checking it out is the whole sentence, mm -hmm. the complete sentence, the don't forget the, 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 the period at the end. Mm -hmm. Let's see, because the first one is the place strategy demands enough channels of distribution. Our products offer great features and benefits. Retailers will stock enough goods and sell them. The marketing department hasn't created enough interest and we lack enough information on the competition. Hmm. Yeah, I submitted it's both uh, ways and always got the error. Really? Yeah, with the period at the end, Let's start with a capital and a minimum. Let me check it out. Because, uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, start with a capital. Yes. In lower case. Which one is the, the one, Jose Wilfredo? Uh, exercise 2.11. Ah, uh, no, 2 I haven't. Okay, let's do something, Wilfredo. Uh, today at the end of the class, I will check it out. Uh, let me just take notes because if I don't write it down, I always forget. Okay. Uh, I'll work on it tonight and let you know, okay? Okay, perfect teacher. And if I don't let you know, please remind me tomorrow along the day. Okay. Uh, preferably during the afternoon. Afternoon, I can, I will be like free. So I can check it out if I don't do it tonight. Okay. Please. Okay. So tell me, how was the weekend? Um, well, my weekend, I just have to work and the both day. Just Ouch. yesterday. Both days, not the both days. Both days. Both days. Okay. So only yesterday that I went to supermarket to to buy some food and other things that we need in the house. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, 
and some yeah, I... Christmas lights. Oh, that's cool. So you are ready on the spirit. Yeah, teacher. Yeah, because that's excellent. This maybe this Christmas is gonna be different than the last one. Let's hope so. Let's hope so. Yeah, because I mean last one was difficult, right? For everybody. Yes, for a lot of uh, family. families. Yep. Yeah, I know, I know what you mean. And I mean it's complex, it's actually complex, but that's the way it goes. And I mean what can yeah. we do? That's life. Right. That's so my my weekend was like normal to be because I can go out with my friends or my family to visit the beach. So is I guess there is the place that I uh, usually visit on weekend. But yeah, this weekend was, was normally. Uh, I think I stayed home. Oh yeah. no, I made I made something pretty funny, you know. Uh, huh? I was like uh, rushing my wife because yesterday afternoon I was rushing my wife because I needed to go to EPA to buy a door. Mm -hmm. And I was like, let's go, let's go, hurry up, hurry up. We get in the car. We get to EPA, and when I was in front of the door, I remember that I forgot to measure the door, the space. <laughs> I was like, it was really funny. Yeah. You make a big mistake. Yeah, just just a little one. Just a little one. <laughs> yeah. But, but somebody you know. was on was in the house and who take the measure? Uh, no, you? that was the problem. Oh. But in the end, I I go I went to to visit my sister, you know, to talk mm -hmm. to her to but I, visit them. So I I mean, I took advantage of the fact that I was out on the street already. <laughs> but I'll need to go tomorrow. No, tomorrow no. Wednesday I'll need to go again to buy the the door. But I guess, teacher, that you can buy whatever measure of the door and you can cope. No, 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 no. That's not. Oh. I mean, that's that's more complex to cut the door. And I mean, I'm going to replace the one that is here completely. So I will need the door frame, what we in Spanish uh -huh. call mochetas. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And so I will buy everything. So I need to measure the space. Mm -hmm. the free space in order to order it so they can cut it exactly to the measures I asked. Mm -hmm. So, and it's going to take me like, they're going to give it to me like in eight days. Mm -hmm. But it's okay. I mean, I got time. But man, it was so funny being there and just looking because I forgot what I was going to do. <laughs> that, that happens. That happens, you know. That's the problem yeah. of the new of the new girl like that. Her last name is Alzheimer. <laughs> but your wife not told you. I told you. Oh no, she was making fun of me all the way from there to home. Don't worry. <laughs> she made sure to remind me of the fact that I have forgotten it. Oh, okay, that's cool. <laughs> yeah. Hey, Wilfredo, nice talking to you. Welcome. Okay, thank you, teacher. Hey, guys, I'm going to get the attendance. I'm Barili Alfaro Gomez. Present. Thank you. Ana Claudia Gonzalez Velasquez. Present, teacher. Claudia Elizabeth Ramos Barrientos. Present. Daniel Eduardo Segada Valencia. Erwin Francisco Lopez Rojas. Present. Thank you. Fernando Marvin Gonzalez Martinez. Present. Thank you. Francisco Eduardo Figueroa Mejia. Present, teacher. Thank you. Jose Ernesto Osorio Morán. Present, teacher. Thank you. Jose Wilfredo Ayala Soto. Present, teacher. Lucero Abigail Godínez López.
María Alejandra Barrientos Romero. Presentita. Nicolás, oh, Marta Anabelinda Morales de Portillo. Present teacher. Nicolás Atilio Méndez Granados. Roxana Iveda Asensio de Mejía. Present. Silvia Elizabeth Avendaño Pineda. Present. Thank you. Susana Beatriz Ortiz de Cornejo. Walter Mauricio Morales Araujo. Present teacher. Thank you. Wilfredo Guardado Present. Rivera. Present teacher. Teacher. Yes, Wilfredo. Um, I got connection with my cell phone. I, I, I go. I, I went to another place. I don't be in my house. Okay, uh, no problem. I'm sorry no problem, if no I, I can. Okay. Thank you, teacher. No problem. William Giovanni Rosales Galvez. Present, teacher. Shanira Elizabeth Asensio Garcia. Present. Okay, let's see. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Aha, uh -huh, Roxana, tell me. Hello, how are you? How are you? Good evening. I'm just fine, Roxana. Tell me, how was your Friday? Well, at uh... On Friday, I didn't have a um, light. Como, como le puedo decir? Se fue la luz. I didn't have a oh, energy. Was ele yeah. Electricity. Actually, yeah. it was a power. There was a power outage. That's the formal way. You say there was a power. A power outage. The informal way, you tell me, oh, there was a blackout. Oh, well, I had a black, black house. Blackout. Blackout. Yeah, because um, in the evening, someone crashed with a um, poster de electricidad. How yeah. do you say poster? <laughs> and we didn't have electricity uh, since, since seven since 7 p.m. until 8 a.m., I guess. And that's the reason why I can't, I couldn't uh, connect. I stayed, I was, well, I was at home, but I didn't have a light and internet. Electricity. Oh, that was Electricity. A yeah. Yeah, you know, and actually hitting one lamppost is expensive. Seriously? Yeah, they made you pay like uh like three or no between four and five thousand dollars. Okay, yeah, expensive. Hmm. Yeah, it is, it is expensive. So be aware if you are going to crash, try not to crash into a lamp. It's expensive. <laughs> Those things are pretty expensive. But the um, the el conductor, no, the person who crash his car yeah. go go away. Se fue, se fue. Went Se away. Loco? Went away. Yeah. Yeah. We don't. We didn't, we didn't. know. We didn't Ooh. know. Who was who, the one? Who was, uh, yeah. Uh, well, now you know why. Why? <laughs> no, now you know why he left. Because those yeah. things are very expensive. Yeah. So uh, the personal, um, the guy's personal was working all night because. Uh, personnel, personnel per were working. Where? The personnel were working all night because uh, uh, a lot of people in the in this uh, area neighborhood area in this place or in this area work from home. So we we was calling at uh, we guys. Were. We were calling at guys and and complaining. Yeah, but I uh, um, start start working at 
8 a.m. and my regular uh, schedule is from 7. Yeah, and actually, you know, it's kind of complex to, to, to fix one of those things because it's not just taking out the, the broken one and getting the new one. And yeah. you, need to, you need to cut electricity on the neighborhood then you need to start like cutting cables if the cables got too much tension, you have to replace them cables. Yes. And to do that, you need to, man, it's a lot of work. Yeah, there was, there were around 10 personal. Yeah, it's just that it's a lot of work. Yeah. yeah, believe me, I, I used to work doing that. And Back you know days. we can we can uh, go shopping we because we couldn't go shopping and I stay at home saving my money. Mm, that's cool. Yeah, the weekend it was the same. I just um, taking no, I just having dinner with my uh, mother, my son, and my I just cousin. Have... I just, I just have, have I just have a dinner with my mother, cousin, and son at Las Brumas yesterday. And Las the rest Brumas. of the week. Yeah, uh, and the planets? No. Vol volcano. Oh yeah, yeah, I know where. I know where. Yeah. And that's it. I was uh, stay at home uh, all my weekend working and mm. resting that's cool well saving my money it's, it's good it's good nice to have you here in class welcome thank you teacher ambar hello ambar how are you how are you doing hello teacher i'm fine what about you i'm just great tell me how you doing of your trip doing better yes i am better thank this you for weather asking. is difficult when this weather is difficult, right? Exactly. This weather is so crazy because it have a lot of change. Yeah, it gets hot during the day, then it gets cold at night. Eh. Exactly. Uh, how do you say viento? Wind. Sorry? Wind. Wind. Yeah. It like have a... Look. Lot of wind. Oh, it's it's windy. You say it like this. You say it's windy. It's wind. It's windy. Yeah, it's windy. Yeah, you know, I actually like it, but uh, the problem is that I am becoming old. When I was young, I mean, um, I didn't have no problem. Now I feel a little uh, discomfort, like in my it's nose. Like a allergic right yeah but the funny thing is this as i tell you i'm getting old because before i mean when i was young this time of the year i was out on the street and with my friends and stuff and now man you know age is not good getting old yes but old. in my case i prefer this weather than oh me too hot weather yeah, I hate the heat. Well, you know, guys, I hate the heat. I, it's desperate. I mean, I hate it. I cannot stand it. When it gets hot, man, I get crazy. I cannot even sleep at night. Yes. Well, I'm so glad that you are doing better, Ambar, and welcome to the class. Thank you very much. Thank you for asking, teacher. Shanira. Hello, Shanira. How are you? Hello, teacher. I'm good. What about you? You know, here, yeah, just fine, just fine. Same old story, just kicking it. What about you? Okay. I'm good, teacher. It was a good day, a normal day. Well, after, at the finish of the day, I received uh, some call. You know, Roxana, oh, around 5 p.m. Yeah. She always 
Waiting Give for the last me working, hour. working. Jesus. Yeah, I can imagine. I can but imagine. it was a good day, teacher. Yeah, if it weren't for that little detail, it would have been a perfect day. Yeah, but that's life, you know, Yarina. I mean, it's part of the job. So that's cool. What about the weekend? Yeah, right. Working, working. <laughs> well, let me see. Oh, Jesus, this weekend was very hard because I because I I went to the shopping for oh. buying a uh, stuff for for a Christmas decoration. And it was crazy, you know, all the, all the malls are very crowded. Oh, yeah, they were, were very crowded. Yeah, they were packed. They were packed, actually. Yeah, I don't like them. I don't like going to the malls this, this time of the year. And I will have, but that's life. I'm sorry, teacher, I lost my connection. I come back. Yeah, I just realized that. No, I was telling you that, yeah, this time of the year, all, all the malls are like that and all the establishments are like packed. I mean, yes, and, it's, going, yeah, and it's just going to get worse. Yeah. I mean, the closer you get to Christmas, the more, uh, the more crowded they get. Yes, teacher, and, and imagine uh, before that, Saturday, yeah. I didn't have anything for the Christmas decoration. I need to buy it all for that. That was very crazy. Entire yeah. teacher. I don't uh, have that problem. I, I, I come back to my house around 6 p.m. I came back around 6 p.m. on Saturday. And in this moment, begun to to put all the collection in my house, and we finished around eleven p.m. And I drove, I dro I drove for for llevar a teacher, llevar a alguien. What do you say? To take someone. To take someone to her house. Mm -hmm. And let me see on Sunday. Yeah, it was crazy too because my mom has a Hi. party, then had, had a party. Then uh, I drive again for I drove. her. I drove, I drove for her. And let me see what more I drove for the airport too because my boyfriend traveled and I finished very He was tired. leaving or coming back? He leaving. Oh, so you are single. Cool. Yes, teacher. <laughs> behave, behave, behave. Be good, be good. Of course, teacher. I like an angel, you know. Yeah, don't get close to Marta. You will get in troubles. <laughs> yes. Thank I you, Janira. <laughs> Welcome. Okay. Marta, hello. How are you? Hi, teacher. Good evening. I'm good. Good and evening. You? I'm just fine. Don't be a bad influence for Janita, okay? Not taking no, her out. No, teacher. Now that her boyfriend is away, she's she bad influence. Home. Yes, she's <laughs> bad. She's a bad influence. I am a good influence for her. <laughs> mm. Yeah, teacher. No comments. Come no on. Comments. No comments. <laughs> you know, face angels. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I can Roxana have never seen and Maria Alejandra, never, too, teacher. Yeah, I have never seen your face, Marta, so I cannot say it. <laughs> it's angelus face. <laughs> you see, I can, I mean, I cannot say it. How are Imagine you, Marta? It. Imagine. <laughs> I'm good teacher. Today was a, a normal day. Um, every day is uh, uh, some cases. 
um, some calls, but everything was okay. I finished my work around the 6 p.m. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. That's cool, that's cool. So you've been relaxed. Uh, more or less because it's, it's a, a, a normal day is a, every It's a heavy day? Cases. Yes, yes. <laughs> it's, it's my normal day, teacher. <laughs> Okay, well, you know, but that's part of, that's yeah. part of the job. Yeah. Okay, what about the weekend? Well, my weekend was a very busy, but you know, um, I went to breakfast with my friends some shopping, I went go to shore, a supermarket, you know, the regular schedule for me. Okay, well, the good thing is that you are here in class, my friend. Yeah. Marta, welcome to the class. Thank you very much. Thank for you, teacher. No, thanks to you. By the way, guys, I just sent you the list of the ones who are and how you're gonna be this week for the 10 minutes after the class. I got Jose Wilfredo Ayala today, tonight, Francisco Eduardo Figueroa tomorrow, William Giovanni Rosales Wednesday, Silvia Elizabeth Thursday, Claudia Elizabeth Ramos, and Friday. Remember, that's my, my, my proposal. If any one of you have a problem of Simply you feel that you don't need those 10 minutes, let me know so I can get somebody else into that space. Thank you. Now let's see, let's continue. Let me see. Yeah, I still got time. I still got time. Where is Maria Alejandra? Hi, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. How are you? I'm fine. And you? I'm just great, just great. Tell me, Maria Alejandra, what are the plans for Christmas? What are you going to do? How are you going to celebrate? I don't know, teacher. I maybe I pass with my in my grand in my granny house. Okay, okay, hold on. I will. Spend, I will spend it at my, I will spend it at my granny's house. Uh -huh. I will spend it at my granny's house because all the Christmas is stay here. <laughs> Every Christmas. Every, Every Christmas. Christmas. Uh-huh. Um, um, only that. Uh, I What's visit um, my padrino, I don't know. <laughs> my godparents. My godparents, uh, I visit uh, in, this, in this day or I don't know. Season? Uh, no. In this, no. Holidays, holidays, in these holidays. Uh -huh. In these holidays and... Mm. That's good, and, that's good. Um, and only that, I, in the morning, I spend time with my father because... Um, uh, oh, yeah, you, you have to divide your time, right? Uh-huh, in the afternoon, uh, I stay in the house, and then I keep um, comfort or have comfort my mother for her house, and then... Um, spend in uh, my granny house and in the middle um, la media noche. at midnight at midnight uh, maybe more or 1 p.m uh -huh, and return to to the house okay. I need a That's lot. Nice. 
<laughs> and eat a lot. Okay, <laughs> that's <laughs> cool. That's cool. I mean, you got your priorities pretty clear. Yes. <laughs> okay, that's nice. That's nice. I mean, it's good to know that you got them. Thank you very much, Maria Alejandra, and welcome. You're welcome. Okay, let's see. I still got time for two of you, two more of you. Let's see. Nicolas, how are you? Good evening, teacher. How are you? I'm just fine. You look pretty warm. Yes, in, in my, my house. Is it's very cold. cold. Yes, yes. Yeah. I need I need a hot hot me. No, I need something to warm myself. I need something to warm myself. How do okay, you say no. I need hope? I need hope. Warm. I will. Warm myself. No, calentarme. Actually, not to warm, no, to get, to get myself warm. This sounds better. To get myself warm. I need something to get myself warm. Yes, I need something. Yeah, that's why moment. you got your that's why you got your hoodie. Yeah, uh, these these clothes. And your and your jacket. That's yes, my, it's my polar. Is I use this I I use this polar only in the mountain because I need in this moment. Yeah, well, you know. When you get in the snow, you need more than that. So be glad that there's no snow here in El Salvador. Because getting in the snow, that's crazy. I mean, you have to dress up uh, like, I mean, you get first your thermo, then you get your t-shirt and you get your pants. You get like one pair of socks or perhaps two pair of socks. Then you get your special boots for the for the, 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 for the snow, then you get, uh, you have the thermal, you got the t-shirt, then you got your shirt, then you got a sweater, then you got a jacket, a regular jacket, and perhaps sometimes on top of those ones, you get a raincoat. That's in what, crazy. In what place do you use all, when, all well, clothes? It, it depends, it depends, because I mean, if you get cold easily, I mean, when it snows in New York, oh, it's cold. Of course. But if you don't get that cold easily, well, you can go to some of the upper states or perhaps Canada. Canada is cold. Very I cold. Mean, cold, yeah, when it gets cold, it's special. Uh, is 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 uh, similar to Alaska? <laughs> no, no. Well, I imagine Alaska is is worse. I can I can imagine that Alaska is worse, but still, uh, I mean, the cold is cool. It's nice when it's cold until you get uh, to temperatures that are like zero or below zero, man, that's crazy. Uh, well, and it's not just the coldness because it's also the humidity. Because I mean, it can be cold, but when it gets cold and humid, man, you feel it on your bones. Bones, how do you say bones? Bones, huesos. Ah, okay, bones. That's it gets crazy. It gets crazy. No, well, but it's good to see that you take care of yourself, with, uh, Nicolas. That's nice. Okay. Be careful. Be careful. Thank you very much for being here. Okay. Thank you, teacher. Let's see. Erwin. Hello, Erwin. How are you? Hi. Good evening. How are you today? 
I'm just fine, just fine, you know. Same old story. What about you? Um, just fine too. Just great. That's the attitude, man. That's the attitude. Yeah. Nice weather, right? Yeah, I love it. And in the part of the country that I live, it's extremely better. <laughs> uh, we we have the temperature right now at uh, 16. Hmm, it's very 16. good. 16. Yes, 16 That's degrees. Cool. Yeah. 16 is nice. Really. And it's windy and I have a lot of trees near my house and the sound of the of the wind uh, in the middle of the trees is beautiful. Yeah. Yeah, I remember living, spending some time in some cold places. It's cool. I like it. I mean, here in El Salvador, there are some pretty cool places. Yeah. Where you My, can enjoy this weather. Yeah, I live in the same, uh, in this, uh, or at the same condition in Los Planes de Ronderos. It's the same uh, altura, altitude, altitude, seria, altitude. No, altitude. You can say altitude. altitude. The same altitude, uh, I think, uh, 900 or uh, 950 meters uh, above sea level. Above sea level, yeah. Mm -hmm. I live, I, I lived for five years in a place that the altitude was 1,200 and something. Okay, sounds nice. It was cold. Yeah. yeah, it sounds nice, but it, when it was windy, it was really windy. It's nice, I like it. And every day I change my, uh, my conditions, my weather conditions, because as you know, I, I, oh, yeah. I am you work working at the, you work at the beach. <laughs> yeah, uh, today at the mid, midday, uh, the, uh, the thermo thermometer yeah. was on 34 degrees, really, really hot. Yeah, it was. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I mean, the problem is that when it's windy like this, there's not too many uh, uh, clouds, it gets hot. You get yeah. clear skies, but clear skies means a lot of sun rays getting to you. Yeah. Yes. Hey, nice talking to you, Erwin, welcome. Nice to you, thank you. Okay, guys, well, welcome all of you guys. Uh, Let's see, Wilfredo, Susana, Fernando, um, everybody, Mark, Daniel, William, let's see who else was around, Silvia, Claudia Ramos. Let's see, guys, we got us this first question of tonight. We're going to start speaking, then we're going to get to the manual. We're going to cover something from the manual, and then we're going to have more conversation. Okay, now. Remember, I am trying to give you questions that they get more interesting and I need you to get like more uh, into them in order to answer. Right now, you gotta read the question, analyze, because the question for tonight is, do you believe people can successfully balance work and family? How would you do it, okay? Or how do you do it? You can do it, okay? Do you believe people can successfully balance work and family? How would you do it or how do you do it? That's the question that you are going to discuss right now. You are going to work in small groups of three members, okay? So groups are created. Please jump in, guys. You will have five minutes for the discussion.
Sorry, Wilfredo, I will send you to another group. Hello, teacher. I'll send you to another group, okay? Okay. Vacation on December. Yes, the, the vacation only in uh, two, uh, 23 or 31 of December. December okay. 31st. December 31st. One week. Yes, one week. Thir okay. December 30, 31st. Ah, uh, 31st. Ah, yeah. uh, 31st. Okay. Hey, Fernando, how was Friday, Fernando? You were working, you, right? Yes. Yes, teacher. It was a, it was crazy, <laughs> a crazy day. Oh, really? Yeah. So it was it was good for business. Yeah, it was good for business and for me because I living from from then. <laughs> Yeah, of course. Eh, you know, I, I need to go buy a TV, but I didn't want to go on those dates. Uh, and and oh. the traffic was horrible. Yeah, that's why I'm I'm ex I am waiting for perhaps next week. Next because... week, uh, next week is December. Oh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, because if you wait like uh, for the second week of December, it's gonna be crazy. Yeah, the the first bit is uh, it's calm. It's a little bit calm. Really? It's or how, how or you less. can go or you can go between the twenty seventh, twenty eighth. Is less. It's less crowded. Yeah, less people. people. Yeah, okay. crowdless. Yeah. Crowdless. Always, always. Okay. Okay, yeah. guys. Paul, continue. Uh, uh, oh, okay, teacher. How do you, how do you say? Uh, yeah, fácil. Easy. To be easy. So. Oh, Roxana's job. Yeah, it's easy. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, teacher. My job is not easy. <laughs> Sometimes, but not all days. You know, chasing PGs all day long. <sighs> yeah, I love it, but you know, sometimes I hate it too. Chasing PGs, she wakes up late, <laughs> no traffic. But I, I am eh, encerrada, ¿cómo sería, teacher? Yo estoy encerrada todo el tiempo. You are in jail. Yeah, like a jail. Jail. Yeah. Nah, yeah, no. Similar. Really. Yeah, yeah, but you, similar. You, got your, you got your son, you got your husband, so much happiness. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Like uh um, como sería prisionero? Prisoner? No, like, like a prisoner. Yeah. No. Look at look at Francisco. He's so sad being there in the world. No. You know? He 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 was told me that he enjoyed his chief. That's cool. Yeah, sure. I mean, he wakes up late. He doesn't have to, to wake up early. He gets a little bit late home, but okay, just to sleep, relax. Yeah, actually, that's a nice shift. I think the, the, I mean, the shift that is hard, perhaps for me will be the one that you have to wake up early. Yeah. Because it's the hard. night shift, the night shift, uh, yeah, it's hard. The night shift is hard. Yeah, because you are tired all the time. Yeah, but this chief is cool. You get late, yeah. not too late. The night, yeah. the night 
su uh, uh, ¿Dónde usted como que hacer es que se the housers yeah yeah Housher. that's not good that's not good <laughs> but you need to do it it's and part of your Sylvia? life what about Sylvia Sylvia's shifts are cool she says yeah Sylvia what about you uh, in my case yeah, I have sometimes the morning shift. Which and one do you prefer, the morning shift or the or the afternoon shift? No, I prefer the morning shift. I know I have to wake up early, but I finish and I go home and I can rest. So I prefer in the morning. Okay, that's nice, that's nice. Yeah, actually you can you can rest a little bit more. I mean, the good thing about your shift is that, I mean, you finish at one, right? When you get the morning. No, I finish at three. Oh, and when you get in the afternoon, you start at one. At 1 p.m., yeah, sure. From one to eight. Hmm. Okay. Yeah. So when you are <laughs> excuse me. Sí, eh, eh, yo les... Okay. Are when you are in the night shift or after no, sí, night shift, three hours. Eh you are uh, spending time with your friends at the morning? I usually stay home. I get up late and I do some my house chores. And only that, I prepare some food for lunch, my breakfast in the morning, and then I go to work. But I prefer to go in the morning shift because I can finish at 3 or 4 p.m. After that, I can go for a walk at the beach or I can go to rest at home. Nice. Okay. Yeah, yeah that's nice. How many, how many times? Um, home, uh, home from work. Excuse work. me, could you repeat that, please? Okay. How do you, how do you, uh, how, how many time do you spend for? Home, from your work. I'm sorry, I can't hear you. No, really. The, the middle size. Oh, the middle size. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Well, the, the, the level is uh, a, a big size. It's so hard to, <laughs> to go out with, with four. Yeah, I know. I have one. I have two pets. I have uh, one boxer. And I have one Chihuahua. Both oh, are, a Chihuahua. Yeah, both are girls. But also funny. Uh, how, it's so funny see how they play. Yes, it's, it's, it's more easy. It's easier uh, with, with Chihuahua because you take a, a, a bag, mm -hmm. a special bag for, for, for day. Yeah. And you you get with you for the mall for the supermarket i don't know whatever you want <laughs> yes that's right i buy one a bag of 
food for one, and I have to buy another bag, but a small one for the okay. Chihuahua. Okay. And now more uh, the store are uh, pet friendly. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Yeah. Now exists a lot of. Yeah, but maybe it's more easy um, than a few years uh, ago because uh, I remember that if you go to the bank, you mm -hmm. can uh, come in with a pet. Yes, yes, yes. Mm -hmm. For example, the the America is from America, the bank. America is pet friendly. Oh, really? Oh, okay, I won't go to that bank no more. <laughs> <laughs> and now you have to change your saving. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on. Now, good thing, good, you thing I don't, good thing I don't Angry. have savings. Ah, okay. Mm. You don't like the pack, teacher? Yeah, sure. You know, I remember once we had a, a rabbit for as mm. a pet for three months, then we ate it. Then you agree. <laughs> after, afterwards, afterwards, we had a raccoon for six months, you know, as a uh -huh. pet. Uh -huh. And we ate it too. Ah, good. Good, tree. Good yeah. to you. Because you yeah. know what they eat? Yeah. <laughs> and no, the and uh, the rabbit. Teacher, and the rabbit the meat is really good. Eat. I'm sorry, Janina. The pets are not for eat. Hell oh, yeah. They are tasty. Come on, teacher. Come on, teacher. What? You are bad. Yeah, sure. I mean, I have eaten mm. almost anything. I have eaten I... snake, cotusa, rabbit, raccoon, <laughs> armadillo. And but I guess that, that those that animals seeing. were then your you pets. You're not a pet teacher. This is a farm. No, pets just the just the rabbit and the and the raccoon. Hmm. <laughs> you know what's a raccoon, Janina? Mm, yeah. Uh, ah, like oh, okay, okay. I think in. I don't remember the name, the, like a rat, <laughs> but more bigger, but bigger. Oh, Takosin. No, really. Is uh, fat and has a, a small air. Kotusa. No, yeah, that is smaller than Kotusa. Um, it's very common for the child, um, like a rat, but bigger than rat. Uh, hamster. Ah, yeah. You no, know, I think in a hamster. Hamsters. Nah, those things I don't like them. They are rats. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> They're rats with then, uh, long hair. Yeah, and you cannot eat them. So. <laughs> Do you yeah, like fish for it too, teacher? It's, well, you know, uh, 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 my my mother-in-law, she used to have a, a fish. She put a, a fish in the in her in her pila, you know, when the fish was like this. Man, man. You have oh, to yeah. hunt him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I like eating animals. It's cool. Yeah, I even ate, I used to, I ate deer. I love deer's meat. It's delicious. Deer? Yeah, deer. Do you eat all, teacher, all that move? Do you eat? Sort of in a way. Algo así. No comments, I'm gone. Uh, don't we no. use a grua? Oh, you oh. need to to translate for the garage and to re, 
and repair, but the insurance don't, doesn't doesn't pay for the radiador. <laughs> you didn't pay for the for that uh -huh. part of the vehicle. Yes, uh -huh. but the transportation or the moving. Okay, guys, let's see. Let me get the attendance, please, a second time. Amber Eli Alfaro Gomez. Present. Thank you. Ana Claudia Gonzalez Velasquez. Present, teacher. Claudia Lizette Ramos Barrientos. Present. Thank you. Daniel Eduardo Segueda Valencia. Erwin Francisco Lopez Rojas. Present, teacher. Fernando Marvin Gonzalez Martinez. Present. Francisco Eduardo Figueroa Mejía. Present teacher. José Ernesto Osorio Morán. Present teacher. José Wilfredo Ayala Sorto. Present teacher. Lucero Abigail Godínez López. María Alejandra Barrientos Romero. Present teacher. Marta Ana Belinda Morales de Portillo. Present teacher. Nicolás Atilio Méndez Granados. Present, present. Thank you. Roxana Iveta Asensio de Mejía. Present. Silvia Elisa Vendaño Pineda. Thank you, Daniel. Susana Beatriz Ortiz de Cornejo. Walter Mauricio Morales Araujo. Thank you, Susana. Present teacher. Thank you, Walter. Wilfredo Guardado Rivera. Present teacher. Thank you. William Giovanni Rosales Galvez. Present teacher. Senira Elizabeth Asensio Garcia. Present. Thank you, guys. Okay, the question was, do you believe Sir, I am here. Answer? Thank you, Silvia. Did I didn't say no present. Way. I got you, I got you, no problem. Okay, let's see, Mr. Osorio. Hello, how are you? Hi, teacher. I'm fine. Tell me, Jose, do you believe people can successfully balance work and family? Uh, well, teacher, I try to, to talk about my case. And in my case, it's, it's more difficult to me because uh, my work uh, cons consumes. Demands. Uh, demands a lot of time and what I have time is a little and and I try to distribute it very well between time with my daughters and time with my wife and I general in general I try to balance it and in excuse me teacher yeah It's a crazy. <laughs> yeah, no problem, uh, no problem. Nah. The, uh -huh, I try to be to distribute my time uh, the, in the 
the best possible way. And sometimes I spend time with my daughters and uh, and now while I resume the class, I am, I try to, to be close with my wife. And then uh, at the end of the class, I talk to talk with her and, mm. and yes, it's yeah, nice. that, that's cool. That's cool. Something yeah, very so important true. is that you have a very under, understanding family. That's very important. Yes, teacher. Thank yes, you. teacher. Let's see, Welcome Claudia Ramos, what do you think? Do you believe people can successfully balance work and family? I think it's very important to have excellent habit. Uh, responsibility, responsibility, responsibility for all. You, how do you pronounce optimizar? Optimize. Optimize time and put a limit between work and home time. Okay, interesting. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Okay, teacher. Fernando, what do you think? Mr. Fernando Gonzalez. Hi, teacher. Sorry. No problem, no problem. What do you think about this topic we are discussing right now? I, I, I'm talking with, I was talking with Nicolas about this so it, it's complicated i had an example of of this topic because my, my work is very demanding about about time and sometimes it's complicated sharing time with my family uh, during the week and because i work uh, after the schedule and i have a lot of activity and after the, the work but i I try to be, or I try to be, I try to be free, or I try to be free time on weekend, because is the, is the, are the days that I can spend time with my family and share time with them, but um, some, sometimes it's, sometimes I, I, I had to work on, on Saturday, um, in this season, especially on this month, oh no, the next month, I had to work on Saturday on Sunday in the morning because I had to check the the sales uh, every day because the mine manager needs to know the the numbers, you know. Yeah. So, but after that, I I try to to. Uh, disconnect from my job and I try to do uh, some activities with them because it, my time is very limited. Yeah, I understand you. And actually, you know, pandemics has affected because if you are working from home, they become more demanding. Yeah, yeah, just just the, that, that topic, uh, uh, I was talking with, with Nicolas, that I have a, an, a, and advantage uh, because I work from home, but for other side, it's very complicated because I had to be available uh, all time at any given time. So yeah, yeah. Oh, nice phrase at any given time. I love that phrase. Thank you very much. Okay, Peter. At any given time, in cualquier momento, a cualquier hora. That's the idea at any given time. Excellent, let's see, I still got time for one more. Let's see who am I going to ask? Mm -hmm. Sylvia, what do you think? Do you believe people can successfully balance work and family? Yeah, of course. I think people can balance work and family successfully. Uh, but if you don't have a 
a work where you spend a lot of time or the whole day. But if you have a job that consumes all of your time, it's difficult to have time and spend time with your family. Otherwise, a job like mine, I work eight or seven hours a day. I have some, I have time to spend with my family. And also my day off and, and that's it. You just have to manage well your time to, to, to be, be organized. To be organized with your time and you, you can do it, of course. Okay. Thank you. Let's see, what do you think about it, Roxana? Well, um, currently the jobs are too demanding and you don't have much time for your family or for yourself. But I think that I will achieve my uh, my thing, uh, no, I, I will achieve um, organizing my schedule, doing different things and maybe, or try to uh, organize with the rest of my family a schedule too. But it's complex because uh, when you are working from home, Maybe you have more time because you you don't you didn't need to uh, wake up early, but uh, you need to do another things. For example, uh, meetings early or uh, meetings lately after your your uh, schedule. Working hours. Schedule. Sorry. Working hours. Working hours. So it's complex, but I think that uh, we need to uh, do or uh, no, no, we need to do a specific uh, schedule for spend time with, with uh, the family or with our friends. So we need to manage our time, right? Yeah. Yeah, it's it's complex. It's complex, and I mean nowadays it's more difficult because the 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 pace of life has increased. So. The, what is the meaning for, for pace of life? Okay, when you say the pace of life. Uh, you are saying, how can I explain this to you? Uh, el ritmo de la vida. Oh, okay. That's the pace of yeah. life. Yeah, the pace of life is very demanding. Thank you very much, Roxana. And okay. the last one, Ana Claudia, tell me, what do you think? Do you believe people can successfully balance work and family? It's kind of difficult, teacher, but uh, sometimes we need to make like a kind of arrangement. We've been talking in our arrangements. group. Arrangements. 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 Okay. We, I was working in the group with Martha and Maria Alejandra and we got realized. Mm. <laughs> no, comments, had... no comments, no comments. <laughs> Hey, it's an excellent thing. We were realizing uh, we have no kids. So yes, we can balance our life. Uh, we have different options because we must school, we must do a lot of things and take care of our Yeah, but, but the, fact of, the fact of not having kids means mm -hmm. less responsibilities. Exactly, because when there are kids, if they uh, see you at home, they don't think you are working. They think mom or dad is here for me. And we were discussing about that, uh, that we feel uh, lucky at this point, right? That we don't have that 
major responsibility. Well, you know, Maria Alejandra told me that she wants like three kids or four kids. <laughs> I said. don't know. <laughs> and no, it's not really. <laughs> but it was, uh, we were discussing a lot. The three of us, we are very talkative. <laughs> I can tell, I can tell. Uh, but okay, we think that you. we need to, 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 we can have a balance, but Yes. That kind of arrangement, arrangement, arrangement. Yeah, and I mean, yeah, it's well. I've been told it is possible. I mean, me han contado que es posible. I've been told that it is possible. I mean, I can, I can. I'm not a good example of that. <laughs> it's difficult nowadays working from home. It's not the same like when you go to the office, and it's like you close your mind because you say goodbye at 5 or 6 p.m. And it's like when you come back the next day is now it's your job. But from 6 p.m. until the next day, you have life. You go with your family, you go to home. But now it's kind of difficult because everything happens in the same atmosphere yeah. and in the same physical place. Yeah, yeah, you know, I think a lot of divorces were created during the pandemic. Mm, I don't know. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's just that it's different and the stress is different. Mm, yeah. Thank you very much. Okay. Okay, guys, let's continue. Next activity. We've got many activities. By the way, guys, before I forget, remember... Thursday, we start with the presentations. Don't forget it. You, each of you got one topic assigned, okay? My God, even though we are not in agreement with the topic. <laughs> yeah, no matter. Oh my God. It don't matter to me. I need you speaking, okay? okay. Well, don't worry. If you don't agree, you tell me that you don't agree. I will be telling you the reasons why I agree with the topic. Ah, okay? Can we take that that position? You can take either position, guys. Oh, you can ag awesome. agree with the topic that I gave you, or you can disagree with the topic that I gave you. Oh, Remember okay. that I am going to be playing uh, devil's advocate. <laughs> so whatever you are in favor or against, I am going to be in the other position. Okay? Excellent. Good to know. No problem, no problem. So, but remember, you need to work. Amber is like, ah, I got it. It's easy, cheesy, cheesy. The first one. Hmm. My topic is. Is this the Amber? Which one's no. yours? Remind me, please. It's about the clo clonation. Oh, okay. Well, that's an interesting one. <laughs> Yeah, some people is in favor and some people is against that because some people said that it's uh, that it's against nature. Some people said that it can affect actually. That I remember just... the case about a uh, ship. Oh, you remember about Dolly? Dolly. Yes, exactly. Yeah, you remember <laughs> about Dolly. Yeah, you know, but actually, yeah, it's just that cells uh, DNA. Yeah, uh, messing around with DNA is not an easy thing to do. It's complex. Yeah, your topic is very interesting. My uh -huh. topic is difficult and I'm, I'm first teacher. <laughs> well, if you need any help or if something, let me know, okay? Okay, thank you. <laughs> okay, guys, let's continue. Here we go, okay. Now we got questions. We are in the manual, in the Insafar manual, we are in page number 21. And it says here, label the examples of elements found in a product strategy using the questions from the box. How will you distribute your product? You need to place the question according to the sentence. We build quality kitchen hardware for residential kitchen customers. Our customers are young North American families who want kitchen hardware that can stand the wear and tear of young children. They are interested in materials that are safe for children and eco-friendly. We sell our products through a retail channel. 
Our products are, are priced per unit and are considered high-end hardware solutions. Okay, can stand the wear and tear of young children. In Spanish, we will say something like, pueden aguantar el maltrato. Okay, the wear and tear, el uso diario. And then when we talk about high-end hardware solutions, when we say something is high-end, we are talking of very good quality. Okay, now, so what's your, what are you going to do? How will you distribute your product? Who are you selling to? What value do you provide your customers? What are you selling? How will you price your product? You need to do pairing here. Okay, guys, that's the activity you are asked to do. Let me get the image. You will be assigned for five minutes working in the exact same groups, pairing them. And then we are going to come back here and you are going to tell me how did it go? Okay. So we're gonna do it fast because we still got two more questions of, for conversation, okay, guys? So rooms are open, please jump in. No familia de Norteamérica and who what kitchen and where they come Stan uh, Stan uh, we are the and here all your children mm -hmm. okay and the option and the reason the option Okay, guys, how does it go for you? Number one, what is number one for you? And who will you distribute and kill the kill the kill the kill the kill the kill the And what are you selling? Perfect. That's excellent, Walter. Thank you, teacher. Hey, William, hello. How are you? That's perfect, teacher. That's good, that's good. Happy to have you here in class, my friend. Thanks, teacher. What's number one? Tell me. Number one is... Oh, no, we no. Sell our... mm -hmm. The question, which question goes oh. for number one? The... Oh, no. Tenemos la relación de las preguntas con las respuestas de abajo. 
who who will you distribute your product is we sell our product through a retail channel that's number four yeah that's four fine. number hello guys hello teacher Hi. hello teacher uh, I, I didn't hear you well the, um, the instruction to, to this activity. We had to oh, make some match with the question with... And... No, you got to, to place the questions that are like, like number, like what are you selling? That goes in number one, we build quality kitchen hardware for residential kitchen customers. Uh, okay, it's a pairing. I'm okay. 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 Thank you, Thank teacher. You. No problem. The first question I think is we sell kitchen customers. So the number three is the one. One. I think one. So we have Four, two, one. Mm -hmm. And of demand. Mm -hmm. And I with all sentence, but mm -hmm. I don't know what is the correct for. I only that. have I only have two uh, I only have two good uh, uh, sentence that is the number uh, three and number five. Look, number I one only is try with what the... are you selling? Oh, no, teacher, we were talking about the platform. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yes, I... the number one is, is what are you selling? Yeah, the platform, you know. Janita doesn't work in the platform. Uh, yes, teacher, I work in the platform. <laughs> I stopped in the second because I thought the I I thought pensé thought mm -hmm. I thought I thought I thought that all have the same same problem. Then no, I stopped I, in the second. I only have to correct the number three and number five, but the number one, two, and four. I have a mistake, but I check the, the platform and I start with a capital letter and end with a, a dot, but I got a, the same error. Yeah, and I try with the, that mm -hmm. because sometimes the dot is the problem too, but mm -hmm. no. But it wasn't in this case. Yeah. The teacher is the problem. I think I got the mistake. Let's see. Yep. Number one is uh, the, the number one place is strategy demands enough channels of distribution. Right? Mm -hmm. And that one is correct, no problem. Uh, no. Number two. Uh, the, the number first one, um, the first one, I guess, um, is it had a mistake. No, appears in place correct. strategy demands, demands. Oh, yes. demands. Yes, demands. Oh, okay. 
because remember you're talking about it the place mm -hmm. strategy it mm -hmm. it demands oh okay, okay enough okay. channels of distribution number two as a oh, mistake first. in the platform because number two uh, doesn't include enough our products offer great features and benefits. And number five, number five, you said? Uh, number four. Number four, the marketing department hasn't created enough interest. Let but me check. Oh uh, yeah, I can, I can see, I can see what is the problem. The problem is that, oh, no, let's see. Uh, just a note, teacher, the number is second. The numbers, uh, the number two is all products. Offer offers. great, no, our products offer, singular, offer. Offer. Uh -huh. offer great features and benefits. They forgot oh, they are enough. Great. No, we don't need but enough. We don't have the great too. Yeah, great. Yeah, you're right. Instead of great, must be mm -hmm. offer enough features and benefits. Yes. And in number four, the problem is that instead of an apostrophe, they include an accent. Mm -hmm. If you write it, el hasen, the hasen. If you write it, if you type it with an accent instead of apostrophe, you will get it okay. Okay, then check. And it's also Sianira's fault. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the platform and the teacher is broken. Uh, yeah, I need to make a report of this, but man, it's so complex. I need to check out if the person is online right now. Claudia, Claudia, Claudia Ramos. Oh, today is not a good weather for going swimming, right? Hello, teacher. This weather is not good for swimming, Claudia, in the lake. <laughs> Must be cold. It's oh. cool. Yeah, it is cold. It's crazy cold. Okay, guys, let's do the exercise. So, I will say the question and you will tell me where does it go, okay? So, let's see. Give me a second. Jeez. Let's do it properly. Give me just a second. We're going to do this exercise as it's supposed to be. Okay. 
Okay, here we go. Number one, who's going to help me? Walter, tell me which question goes here, please. Okay, teacher. And the question, can we borrow a quality and kitchen and hardware for residential kitchen customer? Okay, and what the is answer, the question? Uh, yes. What are you selling? Okay, what, what are, you selling? are you selling? Perfect, excellent, thank you. You're welcome. Now we got our customers are young North American families who want kitchen hardware that can stand the wear and tear of young children. Uh, Ana Claudia. Uh, yes, teacher. Uh, the number two goes with the uh, number two. Which is, tell me the question, please. Oh, I'm sorry. Who are you selling to? Who are you selling to? Perfect. Thank you, Maria Alejandra. Where are you? This one is yours. Next one. <laughs> they are interested in materials that are safe for children and eco-friendly. What's the question? How value do you provide your customer? What value? Ah, sorry. What value? Ah, yes. <laughs> You provide your customers. Oops. Your customer. Perfect. Thank you, Maria Alejandra. Perfect. Next one goes to Claudia. We sell our products through our retail channel. Channel, please. How will you, how, how do you plan and distribute? Distribute. Okay. How will you distribute your product? How will you distribute your product? Perfect. Excellent. And let's see, the last one, of course, has to be, how will you price your product? How will you price your product? Perfect. Okay, guys, so this is the order. What are you selling? Who are you selling to? What value do you provide your customer? How will you distribute your product? And how will you price your product? The answer is our products are priced per unit and are considered high-end hardware solutions. Any questions about the vocabulary? No. Okay, perfect. Let's go do next exercise. Let's see, guys. Now we are going to talk about media, how media affects people. Okay. Now I got two questions. What message does the media send to young people about beauty? And what message is more important to send to overweight youth? Be happy with yourself or lose weight. Okay. You can choose just one question to discuss as a group. I'll give you the option to choose which one, okay? You will have five minutes for practicing and speaking about it. The same groups, okay? You're going to be working with the same person. Let's do it. Jump in, please.
Claudia, 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 you are very quiet tonight. I think Claudia is comfy, you know, sleepy. Yes, teacher. I have a sleep, teacher. <laughs> yeah, Claudia must be with a blanket right now, just watching the phone like this. No, right? for me, it's it's cool. I I like um, the weather. Climb, climb. The weather. weather. Yes, the weather. Yeah. Me too. Okay. I love it. The weather. I love it. Yes, I have allergic when it's hot. Mm. Me too. I got a rash. When it's too hot, I get rash. Yes. How do you say? Um, no me sale rash, pero si sí es la como esa desesperación. Yeah, I can understand you. I don't get a rash, but I get desperate. Yes, teacher. Yeah, that's no. In my case, I get rash sometimes, like the 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 parts of the body that they get covered all the time, like uh, not the sole of my feet, the upper part of my feet. Man, it's Oh, it's terrible. Oh, it's terrible, it's, teacher. Yes. Yeah, when it gets hot, I hate it. I don't have a sleep. I don't have a sleep when when yeah. the, the weather is hot. I'm not. I am not able to sleep. Okay. Let me I text don't it for you. No. It? I okay. am not able to sleep. I am I am not able to sleep. Yep. Is your opinion? What is your opinion, Ferrand? First question, my opinion is is similar to you. And the measures the message the I don't understand very well. <laughs> Hello, teacher. Hello. We got the questions here. What we has the media sent to young people about beauty? Teacher. Yes. The first question. Um, uh, uh, I, I, I was confused because in my job, I have to send any, any message. Uh, for example, we use, we use WhatsApp. No, but the idea is this, the idea is this. Que mensaje, que idea, que idea ah. le, da, le dan lo, los medios de comunicación a los jóvenes acerca de la belleza. Ah, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I didn't hear well, the question. I didn't understand that. Ah, I'm okay. Okay. And you and you had a problem, the different the different different situation. Uh, the people uh, I cannot practice the exercise. Orlando Cirujano, do you know who is who is him? No. No, it's a popular, um, I don't know how se dice, cirujano plástico. Plastic surgeon. Plastic surgeon. And he all the time is show about the different uh, surgery. And maybe uh, you can feel uncomfortable about that because uh, maybe you don't have money to spend in that. And she and he uh, show beautiful uh, ladies with a perfect body or perfect face. And I think that is a negative message because uh, you feel like uh, ugly sometimes because if you are looking for uh, whatever in your uh, social media and media, 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 
and social yeah, media that's, and that's why I, I don't look in the mirror so i don't have that problem yeah maybe in when you are uh, when you are a man it's different because you don't uh, use uh, makeup but in um in the ref in, in the rest of the person ladies or 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 okay young girls maybe they use makeup and when i i think that when i looking for a uh, whatever in my instagram and i watch videos or uh, pictures about uh, beautiful ladies with a uh, surgery maybe we can feel like a ugly girl yeah. And I think that this have a, a, a negative message because I think that we need, we don't need to spend a, a lot of money in a surgery or makeup or, or I don't know something like that. But now it's it's a real life. Yeah. Yeah, it's part of. It's part, part of, of life. everyday life. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you know, here, well, actually, I remember like, uh, like, uh, let's see, 10 years ago, yeah, 10 or 12 years ago, I remember I had a student, she was like 15 and, and she was complaining a lot because she wanted to undergo plastic surgery okay. at that age because she wanted to fix it's her ears. A little bit, mm -hmm, yeah. Mm -hmm. But she didn't want. Uh, it was not corrective. It was uh, aesthetic surgery. Yeah, because now it's like um, super oh, superficial in, appearance. In some countries, like uh, in Korea, it's pretty common for yeah for people to like girls when they turn 17, 18. I mean, they have undergo surgery at least once. Yeah, yeah, I read and I love that. I was reading. Yeah, the first thing they they work on is their eyes. Yeah, and her lips. Yeah. Yeah, but I think that is a negative message because uh, now in Central America, we don't have a lot of money to spend in that. And maybe, um, we need to get a more propio. ¿Cómo se, cómo oh, se I thought you were going to say we need to get more money. Yeah, but I think that uh, we need to more uh, self-confidence. Self-confidence. Yeah. yeah, because uh, if you don't accept, uh, no, if you don't accept, ¿cómo sería? Si no te aceptas accept. tú mismo, accept. if you don't accept by yourself, or maybe you can get to another people uh, accept you. Yeah. Well, you know, in my case, the only thing I need is hair. Besides <laughs> that, I got no problem. But you have. Yeah, but my hair, my hair is pretty thin. Ah, okay. And besides that, you know, this is dye because my my color actually is white, like right here. Seriously? Yeah. So do you do you? Do you dye? Do you dye your hair? Do you dye yeah. your hair? Actually, I don't like doing it no more but uh -huh. uh, my wife started like uh, this year like dye your hair dye your hair because <laughs> i am i got it pretty white on my temples and this area and okay. uh, you know i got white hair since i was like 16 17 i have too and uh, and my beard is more than half of it is white Seriously? <laughs> nice. Yeah. You cannot look at it, but half of it is white and I am 41. So. But you are young too. 
Silvia is too young. No, Silvia is a little kid. <laughs> Okay, but I have, sí. ¿cómo se dice canas? White, white hair. Eh, white, yeah. white hair. Okay, yeah, I have white hair too, teacher. No, not as much as me, believe me. <laughs> I'm not sure. Yeah, not as much as me. I mean, this here, let's see, no, this thing here, if I start like going like this, you could see it a lot of white in there. All the roots. I is think. White. But I think that when you hire is shine, no, see, sí. when the tu pelo brilla, shine. Yeah, when you hire, yeah. hey, change, maybe, shines. maybe it helps. Yeah, but you know, showering is not good. That's what I say, <laughs> let's go back okay. to the main room, guys. Uh Daniel, 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 you home already? Everybody's coming back in a few seconds. Let's see. So Silvia, you don't have white hair, right? No, teacher. <laughs> nah, yeah, I hate you. I so. don't have yet. <laughs> yeah, I hate you. I hate you. No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Okay, guys. Well, actually, I was checking out the groups, and I like to say that that I feel pretty satisfied on listening to you, participating, and interacting among yourselves. Now, for tomorrow, we are going to do the activity similar to this, but tomorrow I will ask you to talk about the discussion, okay? Tomorrow you are going to discuss, but then you are going to report. I will pick some of you to report what you were discussing, okay? So I'm letting you know, so you are prepared. Don't, don't be like tomorrow, like, wow, no, it's, normal because I need you to be participating, but now I need you to start working on reported speech. That's the way it's called in English. Reported speech is when mm -hmm. you talk about what somebody else has said, and it's mm -hmm. quite easy. That's easy cheesy, okay? We're going to work with that topic and you are going to enjoy it, I am sure. Guys, believe it or not, time has flown and yeah. I need to get the final attendance. Ambar Eli Alfaro Gomez. Present. Thank you, Ambar. Thank you for your effort being here. Ana Claudia Gonzalez. Present, teacher. Thank you. Claudia Elizabeth Ramos. Present. Daniel Eduardo Sagueda Valencia. Present, teacher. Thank you, Daniel. Erwin Francisco Lopez Rojas. Present. Thank you. Fernando Marvin González Martínez. Present teacher. Thank you. Francisco Eduardo Figueroa Mejía. Present teacher. Thank you, Francisco. José Ernesto Osorio Morán. Present. Thank you. José Wilfredo Ayala Sorto. Present teacher. Thanks, my friend. Lucero Abigail Godínez López. María Alejandra Barrientos Romero. Present teacher. Oh, she's here. Ooh. Marta Anabelinda Morales. Present teacher. Thank you, Marta. Nicolás Atilio Méndez Granados. Present. Thanks. Roxana Ibeta Asensio de Mejía. Present. Silvia Elizabeth Avendaño Pineda. Present. Susana Beatriz Ortiz de Cornejo. Present teacher. Walter Mauricio Morales Araujo. Present. Thank you, Wilfredo Guardado Rivera. Present teacher. William Giovanni Rosales Galvez. Present teacher. Shanira Elizabeth Asensio Garcia. 
present. Thank you. Hey guys, a pleasure to have you here. Have a good night. Thank you very much. See you tomorrow. Good night. Thank you, Bye. teacher. Bye bye. See you tomorrow. Good night. Take care. Good night. Bye. See you tomorrow. Have a good night. Good night, everybody. Bye. Hello, Jose Wilfredo, how are you? Hello, teacher. Um, so excited now of the class. Uh, really dynamic. It's oh, really good. I'm glad you like it. Yeah, I really like it. Yeah, you know, the idea is for everybody to start like, a, well, not to start, to, to keep on practicing because I mean, my goal is this, the course is English for work, but I also mm -hmm. need you to be using the English and uh, in regular, normal conversations. You know, that's why I'm every class, I'm throwing you different type of questions, different topics. So you mm -hmm. can you can come out of the of the technical English. Yeah, that's what I want, teacher. That's what I want. That's why I'm here because I am really know a lot of um how do you say that uh, technical vocabulary yeah but i want to establish a conversation like normal like we are talking in spanish so that's why i'm here because that's my my that's my goal yeah and what do you think of the questions that I'm giving you? Do you think they are helping you oh, to reach that goal? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, absolutely, yes, true. Absolutely, yes. I um, really like it because we, we, um, we, try to, uh, we try to talk about situational part of the life. So... Yeah. And, are and I really mean, good actually, question. Actually, that's the idea for you guys to, to get into, into something different and to for you to apply what you know already. Because I mean, in this level, you are supposed to have a lot of vocabulary, a lot of grammar. And mm. the idea, my idea is for you to apply it because when you get into the advanced courses, you're going to be like reading, analyzing, and that's that's complex. Yeah. But yeah, I, know. I mean, when you reach to that level, I want you to be prepared. And the good thing is this, you know, that this group is very, how do we say it? In Spanish, we say it's very compact. I mm -hmm. mean, most of most of your classmates have been together like for four or five months. Mm -hmm. We have been together all this long, and that's weird because usually after two levels they they switch us but they mm -hmm. have kept me with the same group for a long while and that has let me uh, make them make them participate get uh, get like you know at ease with english because for some of them it's difficult to speak but they got other other abilities like uh, you know there are some of your classmates that when you get them like doing the exercises of reading comprehension they are fast Mm -hmm. And yeah, and that's cool. The idea is for everybody to 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 take advantage of their own abilities and to learn how to use English in a more in a better way. Look, yeah, yeah and I was noticing that that you have a lot of vocabulary, but uh, your vocabulary is quite formal. Yeah, the most of the time is really formal, but it's because I maybe I apply it into my job. Okay, well, maybe that's in why. the in the in the platform you get. Oh, uh, let's see. I need to get this a learner. In the platform you get. Uh, you get this, right? Yes. Okay. If you come down here to where it says Centro de Ayuda, mm -hmm. and if you come all the way down to Recursos Académicos, you got grammar, pronunciation vocabulary and in here look you get 
everyday activities, personal care products, household cleaning and laundry outside the home, the apartment building. Mm -hmm. Look, all the topics that you can get vocabulary from. Wow, teacher, I, it's really I good advise, to know that. Yeah, I would advise you to check them out so you can like get more info. I mean, at the level that you are, mm -hmm. do you think you don't forget the path? No, 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 I, I got it, I got it. And also I follow you. Okay, uh, the, the, the good thing is this, that uh, I mean, you have, Wilfredo, you have the tools, you have the confidence, you have the tools, you know the grammar, you are, you, you are using pretty good grammar, which is good, I mean, excellent grammar. And as I tell you, the only not flow, because it's not a flow, perhaps, a little deficiency that I have noticed in you is that your your English and your vocabulary is quite formal, which is good. Mm -hmm. But remember that also in an everyday conversation, you are not going to be speaking formally all day long. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, on a on a regular day, you don't speak formal all day long. I mean, mm -hmm. you go out with your friends and you don't start speaking using technical <laughs> vocabulary. You yeah, get like yeah. relaxed. Mm -hmm. So. And that's why I went. To, I was expecting this 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 time together, so I could give you that vocabulary. Check it out, check okay. it out. Try to use it, and I will advise you to go by by the ones that are really like more attractive to you. Start like in, in the house, the stuff of the house. I am sure that you know a lot of them, but there's always one little word that we don't know, or perhaps. As I tell you, we don't use them every day because we are not in an English-speaking country. So yeah. it's always good to review them because they come back to your mind and you can use them. And if you notice there, there's also another section that is called, uh, let me show it to you. Uh, there's another section here in Centro de Ayuda that is the pronunciation uh -huh. that one is also good in grammar the one that i really really need you to check out is this let me see where is it where is it where is it uh, uh, oh i need you to check out exercise number nine in grammar and ten please Check okay. number nine and number 10, gerunds, subject and object, and infinitive after certain verbs. Mm -hmm. Because uh, you use them, but I would like you to use them a little bit more. After you check the, the, the topic, you will realize that, uh, I mean, when you use the gerunds appropriately, when you speak English, you sound better. Mm -hmm. because if you speak all the time with infinitives people understand you and they yeah. accept it but you will sound better your level of english will sound better if you use the difference between them in a better way so i will advise you first before getting into the vocabulary to check out those topics those two topics and if you got any question let me know there's always some people in the in the in the groups that i mean they don't connect to all the to all these sessions sometimes i'm alone yeah sometimes i'm alone that there's nobody here with me that happens mm -hmm. so if you have the time or if you have any doubt let me know so i can program you and get you in and we'll discuss your your questions yeah 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 okay Check it out. And the vocabulary, man, take advantage of that resource. There's a bunch of words there. Yeah, yeah, I found it. The information that you uh, told me is intermediate grammar, right? Yeah. Infinities, uh, there is 10, and number nine, that are, uh, there germs. is germs. Yeah, okay. I found it, and I will bookmark. Yeah, yeah. I, I am sure that it's going to help you a lot. You will enjoy it. Yeah. I also, when I'm working, like, because I'm working from home, 
I most of the time that I don't have a, a call, I review uh, all information that I can to improve. Well, now you got uh, you got more information to check out. And yeah. if you need more besides the one that is there, let me know. Mm -hmm. I got some. That okay, is going to perfect. be helpful for you. So just okay. let me know. I'm here to help you. And remember, you can text me during the day. No problem. Yeah, yeah, perfect. I'm really glad for that uh, extra information and I will uh, take advantage about it. Yeah, yeah. And, and as I tell you, look, uh, starting Wednesday, I'm going to have more free time during the day. So if you got any question uh, or even if you want just to text a little bit, practice a little bit texting, do it. I can answer you back. Okay, perfect teacher. Um, I'm really up. appreciate your extra help. No problem, no problem. I'm here to help. Have a good night. Thank you very much for staying with me. Okay, teacher. Have a good night. Take care, teacher. Thank good you. Bye. bye.